Okay. She's in the shade, but I just finished her watch eat a sandwich. That young woman this morning, I saw her with two stolen DoorDash bags sitting behind. It was stolen from Starbucks. Sitting behind Starbucks calmly, chowing down on the stuff in the bags. It appears she just stole something from 7-Eleven. That's what we call a very aggressive thief. And she's she down in Austin. You know, homeless people like her know that if they're hungry, they can go into any restaurant and go to that section where they stack the DoorDash Uber Eats bags. And uh, I'm not sure what she's, because I'm pretending to... With my glasses off, I'm trying to, but that tells me I got to be leery because my charging stuff is. Um, she appears to have a functional cell phone, and uh, afraid of. I still got a fairly good charge on my 30 amp hour backup battery, but I just wanted to point out that she actually thinks that I'm not going to recognize her and figure out the fact that she stole two bags. She's a thief and a very uh, shameless sinvergüenza thief. And she probably just stole a sandwich out of out of, uh, out of Starbucks. I mean out of 7-Eleven and sat there and really chow down. She is super hungry. Somehow I had a cigarette. I guess that's what she... But... You know, she's got a... Looks like she's got a back back there. It's, it's, but anyway... Uh, people like that make me leery because so far I've had no thefts. And... I think she's the type that would steal anything that she think she might be able to, you know, trade for a cigarette or trade for cash to get cigarettes. So, you know, anyway, short video, just letting you know I'm situationally aware at all times during the first near freeze here, we had the whores of Austin dropping off young black men here. They picked out the same kind of body type each time. It's three or four o'clock in the morning. Some of them only wearing shorts with the same type of blankets and they were all over the place. Meth head, mooching, thieving. They, I had to watch them for, they finally left. She'll leave as soon as she finds some sucker, but, you know, it's, when I first came to Pflugerville, you couldn't, I really didn't see, it took a while for me to meet two other homeless people here, both of them were well situated, one lived in a van, and the other one was living in a shed that's uh, on a fast food restaurant property, he works there nice kid named Matthew somewhere on the autism spectrum very friendly very talkative stuff like that uh, I know I have to keep an eye on this person because uh, what little I have I need everything that I have and she doesn't appear to be carrying any kind of blankets or bedding I have both I'm Setting on a giant, oversized, love this sleeping bag, and two expensive blankets, spare battery, and she's the type that I have to worry now. If I now I know she's in the area. Matter of fact, I'm wondering where the hell she slept last night. Cause first thing this morning, she was behind Starbucks. By 7.30 in the morning, she had already stole. 
shit and was just munching down. You can tell she's hungry as shit. Probably been on a meth run for a few days and somebody dumped her here. Got quite an t- appetite on her. <laughs>